Hey guys, how's it going? I got this pen. Um, it's different from the pens that I usually have. It just came in plastic wrapping, no special box or anything. It's called a, Dec a Decoin? Decoin? Came in this plastic, so let's do the easy unboxing of it. Alright, so, Decoin. What attracted me to this pen is kind of the raised the, the, the raised bumps on it that form flowers and of course this dragon part it's not your conventional type of fountain pen where it's just like a hard cylinder or like kind of that longish oval shape this one is certainly more decorative I would say this one is more of a gift piece if you want something a little bit more flashier just just initially looking at it I haven't pulled it out haven't seen what type of ink it pulls into but let's actually get into some more details of this Okay, so as you can see right here, it says it right here. Can I get it any closer? Look at that. Dekawen. Dekawen? I feel I'm saying it somewhat right, right? But if we move up to the top, like right here, you can see the raised edges of this. And they're just like, they're just like flowers. They're nothing special. Well, no, that's not true. They are something special. It's, it's raised flowers. And I think that looks really cool to have these raised flowers up here. Uh, and if we go up to the top right here, now look at this. This part actually looks really neat. This little dragon head here with, wow, attention to detail. Can you see these red eyes? They're not just painted. Can I get closer? I think that's as close and clean as I can get. Those red jam eyes, that actually looks really, really neat. I would have assumed they would have like half-assed it right there, but that's actually cool. Let's, let's pull it out. Okay, cool. Let's look at the nib. Let's zoom in a bit. So what does this say? Genuous erodium. I don't know what that means. You guys, that have been really helpful. I'm going to put out all the names right on the screen here that have been messaging me that have been helpful. And maybe you guys can help me out what this says. Genuous erodium, what that exactly means. Now, as well on this pen, I think I saw it a while ago. I just saw that. I just saw this here, 891. I'm wondering if that's actually the the number of manu ones manufactured, or does that mean a certain pen type or nib pipe? Um, somebody in the chat, uh, in the the comments, told me what the points are um, on these pens. It'll usually say zero one, zero one five, zero one six, and stuff. That is due to its nib size and thickness, which I think is really neat. But getting back to the, getting back to this, look at that. Wait, let me focus in a little bit more. I like the nib of this. This doesn't it doesn't pull out, which is good. So let's actually pull this one out. Okay, let's let's open this up. Okay, so so far what I'm seeing a common trend is is all of these uh, pens that I see they are this screw type where you dip the ink in, you twist it all the way down, dip it dip in your pen in your ink, and then twist all the way back up to load ink. I'm going to say that's probably the cleanest method, even though I still have to use paper towels to clean it off, but it's a method I actually really like. So we got our ink, good old Parker ink. I know you guys have said not good things about Parker ink, and remember, it's my first ink. So one, excuse me, once this is almost done, I'll be getting some more. Let's start the process of filling this up. I don't know why I unscrewed it when I just knew I had to screw it back in, so let's screw this back down. Uh, let's open this up. Let's clean this stuff off. Now, one thing I didn't mention is, actually, I'll do that later. Okay. So again, let's dip this all the way in. Then let's get that twist in. So you see, I've loaded my ink. Clean off the tab. because I want this to be nice and tidy. Okay, got enough ink. Let's close this up. Ah. Got my pen loaded. Oh, wait. Let's push this just a little, just so I can get the flow going. Okay, I've twisted my ink. All right, let's get my paper. Okay, let's start writing something. This <laughs> is a decal when pen. Let's try this again. This is a decal when pen. So far, I like the thickness coming out of it. Okay, so initial thoughts. I really do like how thick the ink is actually flowing out of this one. Again, zero pressure, like I'm not putting much extra pressure on the paper. I'm just kind of letting it flow out and it's 
it's drying dark and hot, dark and light, so I don't know how well you can see, but like the eye up here, when I started, is completely dark here. It's dark here, but like when I get into, like the more I get into start doing cursive, you see how it gets light, then darker. So even though I'm not writing cursive, but like my letters are getting closer together, it's starting to not dry consistently. So this looks so far. Let's see about writing cursively. Boy, do I like this. So, as you can see, again, when I'm using cursive on this type of pen, the ink's like going light, dark, light, dark, um, usually at the very start, the very start of where I'm putting it, where I'm putting my pen. So, again, yeah, it has that, that thing with most gel, gel pens and ink pens where wherever you start is always going to be the darkest, and then when you start moving up, it starts getting lighter. Um, but so far, so, so far, so good. I have no issues with this. So let's, let's continue. So far, so yeah, so far, so good. Exclamation point, exclamation point. It really feels nice to actually like hold and put down and actually write with. So no issues there. Um, one thing I didn't mention that you can't, can, you can't see right here is it's got these indents, that, the, the indents that I was talking about where you can have your, your fingers here. So when I'm writing, it's not hurting my hands that much. As I, as I was afraid was going to happen, right? But it actually feels good, like resting my fingers here. I was really worried that this part, um, the raised edges of these flowers, would kind of just scratch on you being bothersome. Absolutely not. I'm not being bothered by it. And, you know, I guess it, it's, it's fancy when it's by itself. But, like, when you're actually writing with it and you're holding it, since most of your hand's holding it, you're not really seeing all the fancy fanciness of it. One thing I personally like with the pens that I have looked at is I want it to look fancy in my hands all the time. This one, it kind of looks very generic when I'm holding it. That's because I'm shielding all the nice designs on it. But the second you put this down and somebody writes with it, it looks exceptional. So let's actually see how coloring with this is. Again, even though you're not supposed to be coloring with a pen. Yeah, actually... Again, like, it's not like the fully one pen flowed out way more when I was going back and forth and coloring in. This one reminds me of that Moo Man C1 pen that I had. It's, it, it just looks like it's scratching and not completely covering everything that it could be, all right? So, yeah. As you can see, I'm not getting much con um, consistency in drawing with the pen, but nonetheless... It's, it's still coming out really, really great. Remember that knockoff Moon Man pen that I had? It, this one does much better than that knockoff Moon Man pen in terms of writing. But in terms of coloring, I would say that's what this one more or less is like. So let's see. This is great. This is, is awesome. Exclamation point, exclamation point, one, exclamation point. Now, you know what? With this one, I'm not seeing so much of that bleeding and, um, that bleeding and smearing with the other pens on, like, the cursive that I'm writing with. When, again, I was told that that's part of the situations with the paper, which I know I'm taking into consideration like that. But, like, even looking at it right now, it's significantly less. If I can zoom in, let's see here. No, this is as much as I can zoom in, so I can't, re I can't really show you much more than what I have right here. But as you... as as I can see, it's, it's turned out really, really nice um, in terms of bleeding. It's not that much. So altogether, this, this pen's, I'm pretty happy with it. Like, let's just close it up. So it's a click one, not a twist one altogether. It looks pretty good. Let's move this out of here. All right, we went through the ringer in terms of how it writes. So as a pen altogether, how do I like it? Um, I like it pretty much. I'm very, again, surprised to see these little, like, clip-on parts from this type of fountain pen. And, wow, this is, this is thick. I'm trying to, like, move it a little to see if I can lift it up. But, no, that's really hard down here. The attention to detail, especially on the dragon, is really cool. And I really do like the flowers. Even though you can tell it's a repeated pattern, this isn't a custom pen, obviously, because I'm assuming this 891 means the how many are manufactured. But if you look right here, you can see the seam where it's cut off. So this was made from some type of printing press and stuff. But having this just on your desk seems really cool. 
I like the little I like the look of the dragon. I like the color of it. So, Deco N, very nice presentation for just laying on the just laying on your desk. That's about it. <laughs>